let it record. And do all of that. Hey, man. This is Disorderly Conduct Entertainment. Damn it, another podcasting episode on a Sunday. <laughs> on y'all ass. Yeah. Make sure we get our likes and shares and you know, everybody. Kids going berserk, so it's more work. They don't know what we've been They don't know. They don't know what we've been It's Sunday. We po- we had a podcast out Saturday night by Saturday night on y'all ass. We haven't even recorded the episode. But we're doing it right now. Thank you all for tuning in to this on the Y'all don't know what we've been through. <laughs> But we here, man. We here. We live. We in effect on good Super Bowl Sunday. Great Super Bowl Sunday. Whoever's tuned in right now, who we got tuned in? Who's tuned in? We got one reaction. One. Mr. KJ Thomas. What's happening? Just hit the like button for us. Mr. KJ Thomas, man, we appreciate you for tuning in. This order comes up on this good Sunday before the Super Bowl happened. What it do, my brother? We tuned in. Who you got in the Super Bowl, man, if you're watching? Did you give a damn? Did you care? Who you got in the Super Bowl? That's what we talking about. Who you got in the Tom Brady Bowl? Harlan, who you got in the Super Bowl? Look, we already know I'm not a Patriots fan by any means. I can't stand them, honestly. But then we know that Tom Brady is going to win. Uh, Nick Foles is. You say Nick Foles ain't ready? I don't know. I don't know. He ain't ready. I wouldn't be su- surprised if they did win. But we talk about Tom Brady. Be, if Carson Wentz was still healthy and was leading the Eagles in there, I could, I could kind of see it going the right way. But um, I think we all know if Tom Brady's to lose, then the Tom Brady Bowl. Let me mention, we got Miss Toronda Leslie Meeks is tuned in. Hit that like and love button for me. Kimberly Cole, as always, hey. tuned in. She hit that like button for us. Hey, I don't care if you like us, you love us, you laugh at us, you wild faces, <laughs> you, you're sad, or you're angry. As long as you hit that button, it's all good with me. We, we need participation and appreciation yeah. for this dedication in this situation. That goes on around disorderly conduct, man. We appreciate y'all. Like we said, once again, once again, I ain't got no damn body in the Super Bowl. Fuck the Patriots. <laughs> damn show. Fuck the Eagles. I'll never root for the Eagles because I'm a, I'm a oh, Dallas Cowboy there fan. There you go. And Dallas Cowboy fans will never, ever, ever root for the Eagles. Come on, Craig. They'll, uh... Man, I'm not rooting for the Eagles, <laughs> man. Uh, uh, Never. Well, I can't do it. I can't do it. The, it, the, the, the Dallas Cowboy in me won't allow, let, let me let do you. it. KJ say we well we all know Brady got more Secret Service. See you, KJ is with you on the Secret Service whole situation, man. Uh Tom Brady, like we just said, he got he they was cooking steaks last week. Uh, during the last week, he Im- he invited the referees over. Um, they had steaks at his house, uh, shrimp, kebabs, uh, Alfredo. They was handing food. out the checks with steaks. He handed it. He told him, I'm, "I'm about to put this forty stacks in your uh, <laughs> bank account." I mean, they said, "Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom." <laughs> so he, yeah, he got them taken care of this week. They everybody oh, ready to go. Look. Everybody know what to do. When that time come, he gonna give them that look. He gonna, <laughs> I do not I do not I had the same problem with Kobe Bryant that I do with Tom Brady you win too much damn it now it's not fun much. no more because you keep winning can't nobody else win how do you you was down 21 points or so last year you came 21. back 21 you came back Oh, Cowboys are kind of sorry. Hey, hey, the Cowboys no. are kind of. First wait, of all, wait, we do not slander. We do not tolerate Cowboy slander. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Wait, on disorderly conduct. Wait a minute. Then she said trash. Wait a minute. Okay, you are officially. <laughs> 
This time, Kim, it's for, it's for real. You're bad. No, I'm just boys. I'm not gonna ban nobody, man. Talking. I'm used to this cowboy slander, man. This is. I, I, listen, this is what I deal with. Goddamn Eagles fans, they've been talking shit about the Cowboys like we in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I'm like, we not even playing. Y'all need to worry about the Patriots, bruh. Why you worried about us? We ain't even in the playoffs. We ain't make it. <laughs> but they still got us on their mind. Any damn way. Like I said, I'll never root for the Eagles. Never. Not in my life. We got a whole goddamn situation going on up in here. Uh, I got my TV set up now. Yeah. Got the lights and shit. Mm. Got a little soundproofing going on. Damn it, y'all see it. We we building like we always say. When people when people don't understand when I guess our hashtag is we building. We building. If you see me, I'ma say it a hundred times a day. We always building. Um, basically that means, man, it's 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 a steady ground of what we are trying to do every day. Um, to to produce something that, in Arkansas that's never really been done before. I believe it, which is two niggas coming together. From Southwest yeah. to produce Southwest Little Rock Arkansas stand up five hundred one. We in the building. Uh, a rapper on pine cone. Mm. Let me make sure I give my sh- one Let time me- for Fairfield, baby. God damn it, Fairfield Ooh. in the building. <laughs> Love y'all. That damn Southwest. Let me tell y'all. Ah, Southwest. Listen, man. We we trying to do something positive. Do something different. Do something that's never been done before. Like we said, and we go through stuff. Um, on these episodes, man, just like everybody else go through stuff in life. Like I told everybody on Friday, uh, if you caught a live, uh, the live phone edition, yeah. I guess that we <laughs> threw together, you know, what's up, bro? Uh, we threw together, man. Last Friday was probably one of my worst, like last few hours. And I, you know, you try to bounce back after a situation for those that don't know. Uh, Friday, I was at work or whatever. Last hour, last hour, last run. I, I drive trucks. For people that don't know, I'm a truck driver, CDL. Um, been driving trucks for like seven, eight years now. Um, that's what I do. I'm safe as shit now <laughs> when it comes to this. I ain't never hit nobody's shit, tore nobody's shit up, and did nothing before. Okay. Fast forward to Friday. So we get to Friday, man. Next thing I know, uh, last hour... I'm leaving. It's, I'm hard. I'm hyped up, ready to go. Uh, next thing I know, strap down like I normally do. Pull off, bruh. Make a left. <laughs> Shit come flying out the back of the truck. <laughs> when I say y'all mail was all over the street, damn it, your mail was all over the street. <laughs> God damn it. I got it all picked up for you, though. I made sure I did all that. Got this shit straightened out. But when that happened, that threw off the whole thing. But um, me being trying to be Mr. Positive, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a stay positive. We're not going to let nothing like this stop what we got going on. Damn it, we building. We're going to come back. And when we got here, uh, our attitude was right. Everything else wasn't. <laughs> but... <laughs> You know, we here this Sunday. That is why we are here bringing you this this positive, this 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 newness. I don't know how you like doing a Sunday episode, bro. Let me ask you. You know, I love Sunday. You like Sunday? Sunday is one of my best days because it's something about a new week. Even though I'm not a new week, I feel you. Religious or spiritual person, something about that Sunday, man. Everybody kind of lazy. You just kind of enjoying the day. And damn it, it's actually good weather outside. It's starting to get warm a little bit. I feel spring on the way, which you know what that means. Booty meat season. Booty meat season. Do we, can we? <laughs> booty meat, booty season, meat season. season. Damn it. Booty meat <laughs> season is in the building. We're not, we're not doing woo pigs who we no more. Whew. Booty meat season is in the building. Arkansas Razor. It's coming through. You see, today today came through on, on, on our ass. Nigga, I was outside exercising today. I love that shit. I I hate wintertime with a passion. I like being being able to go outside and run and do all that. It's outside in, in, the, in the nature. Being myself. Basking in the sun with my, <laughs> what is it, melanin? Melanin. Melanin. All out there. All out there. And uh, for sure, for sure, I would, like we were just saying, uh, get ready because this summer, this six pack is coming, damn it! Because uh, I'm finna be out here straight up flexing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, everybody knows me. I'm a, I'm a gentleman. All this hard work we've been putting in, 
But this hard work I'm putting in, whatever body shape I got by the time summer start, you're going to see it. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. It's uh, full on thought mode. Thought season. Thought life. Hashtag. I don't want to be a player no more. I don't want to be a player no more. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> But that chest meat is about to be out this season. Yeah. Make sure we get it in, man. <laughs> uh, let me, what, what? I put a post out today, man, that said, uh, I think some people like being in unhealthy relationships. Whoa. I think that that's, that's cool. I think they like it. I really do. I think that they like the drama. They like, they live in the drama of the relationship or relationships because they don't know no other no other way, or they won't try to to do or be with nobody else that's different. They complain about niggas ain't shit, niggas all this, you know, you know the typical speech. But then you go out and 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 redate the same exact nigga and get the same exact result. So to me, the, de- the definition of insanity is doing the same damn thing over and over again. So a lot of you bitches is crazy out here. Okay, I don't mean it. Wait, it's Sunday. Wait, it's wait. Sunday. I said we. it's the Sabbath day. I wasn't going to do it. But wait. Can I, I just, it slipped out. No, it was the truth, though. <laughs> are, do you disagree? Are a lot of our people comfortable with being in unhealthy relationships? I agree wholeheartedly. Now, here's the thing that I agree on. I believe we, we as people, we're creatures of habit. And like I always say, if it's one thing that everybody, no matter if it's an animal or whatever, down to people, you want that person. It's a mate kind of thing, somebody else. Now, some people, some people have the mindset that Having this person, even though we got our ups and downs or whatever the situation is, having them is better than being alone. So I'm okay with whatever is going on. Now, I don't, it's not the healthiest thing to do, but a lot of people would rather deal with bullshit than be alone, man. Like, emotion is a motherfucker, and it's amazing what it'll make you do. Emotion make you sad sometimes. Emotion make you cry sometimes. <laughs> Almost Ooh. cried then. When you fall in love. Woo! Okay. But yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's fucked up. And I, and I think some people get used to dating certain certain types of people. Like you said, nobody, they don't expand like... They're dating parameters. You so won't you, grow. You, you just, won't try. You complain about dating. Niggas ain't shit. They don't do this. They don't do that. But then you go out and get the exact same dude from Club Envy that was the exact same way from the other nigga at Club Envy. They probably was friends. They probably are friends. And you go get the same dude from Club Envy. <laughs> <laughs> because he at the club on Saturday. First of all, you're not going to find what you're looking for at Club Envy. What is niggas infatuation with Club Envy every weekend? D- let me know. Have you been? Have you been? I went to the club one For time. For everybody that know me, I don't go to the club. I ain't never been to the club. I've never been to the club. That's just something that I don't care to do. I don't, that's not my thing. It's not something that I'm looking, trying to do. I know maybe one day because we doing this, we might be in the club situation. That'll be my first time and only time because I'm getting paid to be there. <laughs> <laughs> But For just to show up and go out and kick it at the club, I just don't understand. But that's y'all thing. I'm not knocking it. Anyway, you're not going to find what you're looking for at the club. Uh, or do you you disagree with me? Oh, shit. Love can find you anywhere, Craig. Can love find you anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> in the bathroom stall at Club Envy. <laughs> love, love can club find Denver. you. I done fell in love with this. <laughs> if you're looking for love. You can find it at the club. In Let the back man. seat of your car at Club Envy. For five minutes. Mm. For five to ten minutes, you can find love. Then after that, what you got? Uh, Hopefully not an infection. <laughs> an infection. An infection. Uh, maybe some regrets. <laughs> but 
make that trip to Kroger uh, pharmacy. Get that that Plan B for your situation. For if your you, situation. if yeah. you're not on top of your situation, you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's we're, all I'm we're saying, sorry man. On this, on this oral conduct, y'all, we that's it's see that's what that's this is my problem with doing it on Sundays. I know me, and I know my mouth. <laughs> see, people not used to all this real and rawness on a Sunday. On they a Sunday. expect folks to be all church like and hmm. No, uh, <laughs> that's not me. That's not who I am. Like what y'all see is what y'all get. I'm not gonna be fake in front in front of people. Uh, I say that all the time, and people don't understand that. Why is it so hard for people to be they self around you, man? Like, I feel like people put on this front on social media, or or in real life too. Just it's hard for people to be they self. And for me, like I tell you, if you see me out in the street or you see me anywhere, this the same energy you gonna get when you meet me. Like I'm not finna be. A whole different kind of guy, one way on the internet, and, and then, then in person, you whole right. Another one. Well, I mean, here's the thing: I done ran into a lot of that. It's easy to put on a persona on the internet because you don't have to really deal with it. A lot right. of people ain't comfortable with themselves, so it's hard for them to be themselves, nigga. Like, I know I'm I'm an odd, nerdy person, and I cannot hide that. It's hard for me to try and play dual roles, man. So the shit that I say on Facebook or whatever, it's going to be the same thing you see in person. But I'm comfortable enough with doing that, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm comfortable enough with doing that. Some people are not okay with being themselves. They feel like they got to put on a certain act and persona. And, you know, the, the musics make people want to be a certain way. I'm not with that. We authentic and disorderly conduct. Authentic. This is what you get. This is live and it's real situations. You see kids and wives running in and out of here <laughs> on disorderly conduct. On disorderly conduct. Because that's what happens when you have a home studio, damn it. Uh, one day I'll be able to pay for um, a real place. But until then, this is it. This is what we got. <laughs> Y'all still going to make it right. Y'all still watching like a motherfucker. No, nah, I'm just saying. Like y'all ain't got babies <laughs> running around y'all house. Right, right now. Saggy diapers and shit. Whoa. <laughs> it hey, listen, KJ, man. <laughs> it seemed like I change a dirty diaper every hour on the hour. With KJ. I'm so scared. I changed a total of maybe three diapers. Nigga. I thought to say, have you ever changed a diaper? I have, and it was the most scariest part of my life. What was scary about it to you? It was poop. It was poop. <laughs> 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 it was poop. Uh, nigga. Was in, this is how, it was when my niece was little. She was a baby, and my sister uh, let me watch her. Or she had to go run off and do something. Now, I'm terrified of small children or babies because they can't talk. All they can do is cry in different tones and shit. So she had a dirty diaper, and I was hoping that that would not happen until her mama came back. So I don't know. Have you ever seen a baby look at you and know that it has no confidence in you? <laughs> it was just this. My nigga. niece knew I didn't know what the hell I was doing. She was, nah, something's wrong this here. Man. This nigga. No, she can talk about that shit. it was. I felt so bad because she she had no trust in me as an adult at that point, nigga. And uh, ever since then, shit is scary. I'm sorry, Craig, man. Uh, the dirty diaper gang, I can't. The dirty diaper, the dirty diaper game or gang? Is that what you said? Gang, gang, game, gang. Whichever one. Like the videos you can't on Facebook. be a part of them. The videos on Facebook with the kids that poop all over themselves in the bed. I know that's real life. Oh, yeah. It's real life. I, I, uh, Explosion I is what they call it. Explosion. Explosion <laughs> on your ass. These kids have them, bro. If you got kids out there, what's the worst thing that happened with your kid? Uh, baby, Tyler, when, you, when they was in diapers. Explain that. Talk to us about that. Please share your... We try to give Harlem all (laughs) the information he needs so when he out here having his kids, he can uh, be prepared and ready and uh, and start life off right as the father. With this good information that our people are going to give you on Disorderly Conduct because the people at Disorderly Conduct, they they drop Jews. Our fam... We got some real loyal followers out here and we just want to tell y'all thank you from the bottom of our heart. We appreciate you. 
We finally got our shit together though. Woo. Woo, we finally got it together. We we good. We back. And we building still. And it's gonna always be something else. It's gonna be something else. It's gonna be something else. We got the voice of reason in the building. I'm sure the voice of reason was not supposed to be seen, but hey, y'all seen the voice of reason. <laughs> What's the reason? Do you have anything you want to say to the people? No. Any topics you want to discuss, Miss Voice of Reason? Y'all keep going. I'm trying to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> she been in and out, as y'all can see. I got um, a topic. What you got for us? What is the best wing on Super Bowl Sunday? Ooh. What's the best wing? Do you lemon pepper? The best wing? The best wing. Do you flavor? Right, flavor. You talking flavor? What is your, the best wing flavor for Super Bowl Sunday? What are your top three wing flavors? Top three? Because I know you can't just pick one. That'll just be rude. You got to have a hot. Got to have the buffalo. Or hot buffalo, whatever they call it. Got to have it. You got two more slots. (laughs) (laughs) That's it. (laughs) Oh, for me, I got to throw garlic parmesan in there. I got to throw the garlic parmesan wing in there. Damn it. (laughs) Now you got one. Now you got one. I'm going to have to go lemon pepper. <laughs> <laughs> you shook your head at me. No, voice of reason. You shook your head at me. You disagree? What's your top three voice of reason? Top three wing flavors? Top three wing flavors. I agree. You got to have a hot. A hot. So you got to have a hot. Okay. You got to have the hot. You got two more. <laughs> Yeah, I always gravitate towards like a honey barbecue. That's what oh, I'm saying. Damn it, you gotta do. have a barbecue. Oh. You know, got to have a honey barbecue. So, oh. You know, I gotta have a little sauce. <laughs> a little sauce. You know, a little sauce. Got one more. You got one more. Uh, that is top three. Third you got one, one more. Mm. <laughs> Question of the day, god damn it. You know. Is there anything wrong with just an original? You know what? There's nothing wrong. There's never nothing wrong with the original. The original of the originals, damn it. That'd be my top three. Harlem? Top three wing. Top three. Three. That's it. Okay. I'm always going to have a barbecue, whether it's honey barbecue, hot barbecue, things like that. Just one. That's one. Sweet Asian chili wing. Ooh, that sweet Asian. That's really? my shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, man, I got one more. If I'm going to go one more. You got one good mo left in you. I'm going to have to go with a lemon pepper. A good dry lemon pepper wing. Can't beat it. You can't beat it. You can't beat no dry lemon pepper wing. Where is the best wings to get in Little Rock, y'all? If anybody wants Where watching. is the best wings? Anybody, wherever you at, let us know. I might travel to where you at one day if you do Super Bowl wings. Or if you got anything else. Yeah, yes, yes it is. It just <laughs> popped up. You are right. <sighs> Let's bring that back up. Is this a miscellaneous show? Miscellaneous is... <laughs> Miscellaneous on this Sunday, we bring you out this pre Super Bowl agenda right now. Damn it, we're trying to get it in before everybody disappear off into Super Bowl land. If you're not already disappeared off, yes, it is random as fuck today. We decided to come together on a good Sunday because we missed y'all <laughs> on Friday. Friday. So we came to y'all on a Sunday because we owed y'all. We owed ourselves. Damn it, I lost respect for myself Friday. I had to go, damn it, and talk to myself after what happened. I, uh, yeah, it, I don't think I've ever experienced anything like what happened. Um, it's fine. It's, it's okay. But we bounced back. And we're here live right now with all my good people, seven of y'all. I, if, if you in here right now, damn it, you're loyal as fuck to this orderly conduct. And we appreciate you. And we love you. And I'm sorry I'm cussing on a Sunday, but I don't give a damn. <laughs> y'all was just at the club last night at the sexy dress contest, so you can kiss my ass. I don't care. <laughs> That's just how I feel about it. Toronto say sharks. Sharks do got some five wings. Sharks. We just discussed this. What, what was we discussing? What did you ask us when we was talking about sharks? It was the... 
wings, but we saying, oh, is shark still considered like a hood spot to get wings from? Because there is four to seven sharks now. It has come up in the last six months, by the way. By the way. 47 sharks around the city. No Ooh. matter where you at in the city, bro, you next to a shark. You know that. That's true. No matter where you at. No matter what street you the on. The business plan is they got. I need to talk to half them. a mile from a fucking shark, bro. If you're not from Little Rock, Arkansas, Arkansas, period, right now, uh, they got this uh, fish and chicken place called Sharks <laughs> Fish and Chicken. And basically what they do is they buy up all the places in the hood and um, rent them out. Well, rebuild them up in the fast food chains. And um, the business model is great. <laughs> booming, nigga. booming. I'm not hating. They, uh, the Arabs have figured out a way to uh, get that money. And uh, damn it, I need to be like them. She said they like churches and liquor stores. You damn right. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't care. They got damn. them deals for you. Yeah, they gonna make man, it happen. They will give you uh, six wings, <laughs> two pieces of catfish, large fry. <laughs> Two sizes of bread. <laughs> three ninety nine, nigga. You getting a smorgasbord of shit. Three ninety nine. I fool with sharks. I'm not gonna lie. Right. That shit is delicious. I just y'all in McDonald's territory now. As far as y'all niggas are everywhere, but I can't, I can't knock the hustle because it's delicious as shit. Get you some wings today, y'all. Name the hood wing spot that everybody need to go to. Name one. Chicken Wings on Colonel Glenn. Chicken Wings Cafe. Got all your wing needs. <laughs> Mighty Wings. Mighty Wings in Southwest on Baseline Road. Got your damn wing needs. I forget the spot on Barrow. And I apologize. But damn it, they at the top of Barrow. Everybody crashing their cars to get in that motherfucker. They got the wings. What was that one? We used to go to them. Oh, I can't even remember the name. Um, Lord, we disrespected them. That's not. We should, we, go to them, too. Go to them, too. John Barrow. Multiple sharks go to them. Try, yeah, we got all the black ones out there. Yeah, we got all. We made sure we shot y'all out there. We I'm take sure care of our more. people. Out there. Chicken, Chicken King. King. How dare us? Chicken King. We were really about to No, we was really about to fuck. Voice was, of Chicken reason. King was about to. We were about voice to get reason. banned. <laughs> voice of Reason. The King. Voice of Reason <laughs> is in the building for a reason <laughs> to be that voice. To guide us and make sure we ain't fucking up out here. Uh, it says this. Got the screenshots for you. It say, if you're from Little Rock and you prefer Krispy Kreme over shipless donuts, you'll probably snitch on your home. You're not from Little Rock. I don't give a damn. <laughs> you're not from Little Rock. I don't give a fuck. If you... If you you choose a Krispy Kreme over oh, shipless, nigga. If you choose Krispy Bro, Kreme I over went... shipless, oh boy. Hold on, man. My decisions need to be reevaluated. It's a wrap. Oh, that's Misha. Hey, Misha, I miss you too. That's my damn Misha. Hey, let me make sure we give you a shout out, Miss Misha. She was the first person to get me on two a days, nigga. As far as working out twice a day, and you have created a monster. I can't stop created working a out. beast. I can't stop working Ms. out, Miss Misha. Thank you so much. We're changing my life. <laughs> Amen. Miss Misha on this good Sunday. She done came through and show love. We appreciate you. <sighs> oh, we back. Uh, let me get these screenshots going. What I got? What I got? It says, well, I discussed this on the internet today. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm still mad about the shipless thing. But oh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no oh, my man. <laughs> I, I you, was just... little... you need to get some more you want to say? Get it off your chest. Get it off your chest. Krispy Kreme hurts your teeth. Shipless does not hurt your teeth. Krispy Kreme too goddamn sweet. All right. I'm sorry. I love Shipless. I will not tolerate Shipless slander. When y'all rob Shipless, Angel loses wings. They ain't never robbed a Shipless. Shit. Have they? Yes. Oh. Last I year. Say, I, was saying, I, mean, I was like, what? So I was like, they ain't never disrespected the donuts. Nigga. They, they didn't disrespect the donut place. The, the money and the donuts. <laughs> Can I ask you niggas that rob places? Let me ask you a question real quick. <laughs> I got a real legit question. <laughs> or let me... Do y'all realize you get the same amount of time if you rob a shipless as you would if you robbed a bank? <laughs> do you know that? Like, if you go in there and you pull a pistol out on somebody in the Dollar General, <laughs> you're going to get the same amount of time as you would a bank. So I don't understand why niggas is taking penitentiary chances out here with Dollar Generals and Shipley's. 
<laughs> and hardworking people out here. I don't understand that. Because go big or go home, <laughs> goddammit. You're bullshitting yourself. I, I just think you're out here bullshitting if you're out here robbing and you ain't going big. Why, why is you robbing a gas station, my nigga? For chips and sodas? Like... No, you ain't finna get no money cart, at the game. They always station. gotta get a card to Newport. You gotta, <laughs> yeah. gotta get those cards, man. Cards to Newport. Nigga, nigga stealing lottery tickets. Ain't hit nothing. You done stole a whole <laughs> card in the lottery. Can't use none of them because they hot. I'm sorry. I'm just, I don't understand. Niggas take penitentiary chances. And y'all we believe in you and disorderly conduct. If you want to rob a bank, you can do it. I'm not telling you to, but like Craig said, go big or go home. Don't do the Dollar General. Go get the General Bank. They make it on your ass. You may not make it up out of there, but hey. Cam said the sausage, egg, and cheese croissant from Shipley's. Fire. Fire. The, 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 the. The everything. The collage. The collage. Hey. Oh, my God. The jalapeno cheddar collages from uh, Shipley's? Listen. Almost. <laughs> Almost got mad again. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> Ain't nothing else left to say. <laughs> if you come to Little Rock, Arkansas, make sure you stop by Shipley's. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you. Um, have you seen Say the Last Dance? Like the original yeah, movie? Yeah, the movie. It has been years, but I've seen it. The nigga in Say the Last Dance, Derek, he couldn't dance either. Have you go back. <laughs> go back. Because I went back because I was watching this, what, Thursday morning? Whatever before I went to work? Nigga, he had on some MC Hammer pants in the club, right? Okay. No. <laughs> like, that's not. That's Harlem not. said, okay, like, nigga, what's wrong with that? I don't know. <laughs> that's why I don't what's go wrong to the club because I'm in that bitch with MC Hammer pants. <laughs> Man, that's fine. With I don't understand. No. Across the floor and shit. He had on some MC Hammer pants, right? First of all, he had no game. His game was about as good as her game because he ran up to a white girl and was like, hey, uh, you basically supposed to be dancing with me right now. I don't understand why we're even wasting this time talking right here. We're supposed to be out here on the dance floor dancing. You see the MC Hammer pants, bro. <laughs> Derek from Say the Last Dance cannot... Go back and watch that movie, bro. You're going to bust out laughing. I'm telling you. You're going to die laughing because the nigga cannot dance a lick at all. <laughs> like, not even a little bit. Let me ask you this, Harlem. No, it says this. This had this is a new screenshot. It says dudes be wanting their girls thick, but can't afford to feed them. See, I don't have that problem. Look, if I can't be with a woman that don't eat, I'm sorry. Uh, you gonna be fed. You ain't never got to worry about not eating between us. I I swear, you gonna probably get tired of eating just between the gym and just wanting to eat in general. Don't let it be a cheat day. I'm gonna eat. Every fucking thing. Maybe you included. It depends on how you treat me. But you gonna be fed. Yeah, gonna be fed. All kinds of snack action. What you got? Okay, look. It's Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. What's what's the what's your dish that you whipping out mm. for the young lady on Valentine's Day to show her how much you care about her? God damn it. <laughs> it's the right. I put something on your mind just then. Mm. What's that dish that you gonna pull out that you know gonna get you some pussy afterwards? See, this the thing. <laughs> I know I know you could probably cook a, a good like fish and pasta type dish. Mm-hmm. That'll probably get you the yams. That'll get you the yams off top. That'll fish get and you pasta. Fish and pasta. Oh, they love fish and pasta. Bread sticks. But with me being a goofy ass nigga. I will make a pizza in the shape of a heart from scratch, nigga. Breadsticks, all that included. And put a message on the pizza because... I want this dick. (laughs) Or you want this dick. You want this dick. You want this dick. Sausage for you. Sausage for you. Um, Just trying to think of some messages we could put on. You could put on a pizza. Uh, You could make it dick shaped. I guess. <laughs> just, here you go, man. I got you know, a slice of the dick. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Just, you know, I'm just dick going shape some pieces. <laughs> dick shape piece of Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay. What do you think about the... Hold on. You said... Let me ask you this question. <laughs> go ahead. That just... 
I've been wanting to know, and for my people watching out there, my 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 ladies and everybody, everybody, hit that like and share button, heart button, all that. Go ahead, sir. Does pussy and dick on Valentine's Day have the same exchange rate? Because women can give you the pussy, and that could be it. You get nothing else on Valentine's Day. You can't just offer dick and that be it. You have to come with extra. Is the exchange rate the same? Can a woman just live with just getting dick on Valentine's Day and that's it? Ain't no no flower mm-hmm. petals. No. So why is pussy, you can just get that and that's it. Why do we put the pussy on a pedestal? Why is the pussy more preferred... <laughs> Over the dick. The, the exchange rate is off. The I gotta exchange come with, rate I gotta the, come with dick. There are plus not this. a lot of women out here paying for dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Niggas is out here in these streets, Little Rock and 12th Street, <laughs> trying to pay for some pussy. $10 head, $20 pussy. <laughs> you go out here, Harlem, and stand on the street and tell somebody you got some $10 dick. <laughs> they gonna be oh a nigga. <laughs> Ten dollar dick. <laughs> oh, it's a bad day. That's a going out of business sale. It's a going out of business. I say this. This is what I say. You got to work for this. This over here is quality A, pure, grass fed, <laughs> farm raised beef, country, black melanin. All in your face. No antibiotics. Right now. So the I'm just saying, if you want me to put in all this effort on Valentine's Day, you better put in all this effort on Valentine's Listen, man, hold on, wait a minute. See, I'm sorry. See, I'm they sorry. know, cause Valentine's Day come. They gonna want us to eat they pussy. She gonna wanna sit on my face. There's nothing wrong with that. She no, no, it's no, no, I didn't say nothing's wrong with right, it. Right, I know. But but you want to sit on my face? Yes. Sit on your face. Want me to eat her booty? <laughs> eat her booty? Eat her booty. <laughs> All I want is some head. That's it. <laughs> God damn. The exchange rate <laughs> is off. That's all we say. Exchange rate is ladies. Uh make sure you're taking care of your man on Valentine's Day. Uh we ain't talking about sending us some flowers or some shit. You don't really have to do anything for me. Uh just be butt naked, ready to go. Hey. With some uh yeah. Just be butt naked. That you don't under Oiled up. With some keep sweat playing. Damn. I wanna feel. I want to feel. Hey. I'm not going to get copyrighted. I don't want to you know say too much. Boy, you know. Take this video down. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. You got one bar of a song. Uh, oh, right. Shit, they take your shit. We not. We can't allow this on Facebook. Off uh, the air. Uh, <laughs> we don't. We this they muted right. my shit one day because I had some music on there. I said, damn, they how mute? y'all hear? Yes. They, they, said we, <laughs> they said we have taken the audio out of your video because <laughs> it is copyrighted and this is not you. So you can't use that shit. I said, y'all heard? <laughs> Y'all heard the audio in my video? I made the video. Bro, the shit. The internet is crazy, y'all. I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, I done got caught off track because Facebook fucking me up this week. A lot of shit going on, y'all. I apologize. But Valentine's Day coming up. Do some shit. Do some shit. Get all sentimental. Get all freaky like. What I say is you both should go out of there. Feeling like you did something that your parents seen that they'd both be ashamed, but also proud at the same time. God damn it. Make each other proud on Valentine's Day. Fellas, stop giving your body to women that don't want to put a ring on it. <laughs> Hashtag know your worth. Know your worth. I think that's what we was trying to say. Know your worth, fellas. You deserve better. You deserve the best. You, sir, deserve. Her to, to take care of you sometimes. <laughs> Damn it. You should not have to ask for head. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't have to ask. It should just be a give. 
you should just automatically just automatically do that. And just that goes both ways. Make it happen. We they don't have to ask us to eat they pussy. No, you don't. No. It just kind of happens. It just happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. It just happens, damn it. That's how it happens. <laughs> okay, let me see if, what what else I got in the screenshot. I got a whole bunch of screenshots over here. I told y'all I don't say names or do any of that, but we just keep it real over here. If y'all say some shit during the week that I see that's funny, or everything that I've said has been some shit that somebody said on Facebook or, or the internet, so be on the lookout. I'm stalking your pages. Well, not stalking your pages, but if it pop up on my timeline. I'm going to screenshot it if it's funny, if it's some shit we want to talk about. But I ain't going to say your name unless you want me to say your name. If you have something you want me to talk about, send it, send to, it to me. Send it to the inbox on Facebook, man. We need all this crowd participation. Fam appreciation. Because y'all are family. Y'all not fans, man. We appreciate y'all. We love you. Uh, when you see your buddy stun and trying to impress people on Facebook, how do you tell them to stop? Here's the thing on that. <laughs> How do you tell them to stop stunting, man? We know you ain't really got it. We know. I'm the type of nigga. If, <laughs> I'm the type of nigga. If you are stunting on Facebook and know that you don't have it like that, I don't feel like it's my place to tell you to stop. Even if it's your boy. And you know. I would hope niggas that I hang with would not right. do some That's shit what like I said. That. I said I hope I wouldn't be around bitch niggas like that. <laughs> like, come on, like That's what I said. I hope I, I can't wouldn't. tell a grown man to stop doing whatever they want to do, but come on, man. Let's be real here. If you ain't got it, you ain't got it. And it's all right. Everybody ain't rich. Everybody ain't balling. It's okay to struggle sometimes. You just got to get up out of it. Like me when I get in a small shirt. You're struggling in that bitch. <laughs> Ladies, your man eat first. End of the discussion. You fix his play first. My girl taught me this when we first met. Who agree or disagree? Do you disagree or agree with that, my man? Here's how I always felt about that. I say that a lot, but here's how that... You say what a lot. Here's how I feel about that. Oh. Being from the South, that's like a tradition kind of thing. It is. Now, at all, she don't have to fix me shit. I mean, if it's a family reunion kind of thing or whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Do that. But, nigga, as far as I'm at the house and dinner is ready, if I don't get up and get my shit, Nobody has to serve me nothing to eat. You feel what I'm saying, man? Mm-hmm. I'm able-bodied, so I can get up and get what I need to get. If you do that, that's cool, but you're not obligated to feed me first. Hell, I may, nigga like me, I'll be in the kitchen, make my first plate, still be eating in the kitchen, ain't even sat down yet, now I'm ready for my second plate, because I got to serve me. Oh, wait a minute. Did we just have somebody just to, wait a minute. Gotta get this back up here. Yeah, Wait my boy minute. Steve. Big Steve. Big Steve. What's up, Big Steve? Steve said, I want to thank y'all for getting me motivated to get my podcast back up and running. God damn it, Steve. That's what this is all about. Yeah, I, what Steve, tell me about your podcast, man. What is it about? That's what's up, brother. Um, let me uh give you a good shout out uh on this good disorderly conduct situation we Plug got going shit on, on here, man. Conduct, Steve. We show love on disorderly yeah. conduct. We don't hate. Everybody in Little Rock, it's enough space for everybody in here to get up in here right now, damn it, and get you some of this good podcast in action. Because as you see, it goes down. We don't bullshit a play when it comes to disorderly conduct, entertainment, uh, uh, to... and, and body rock. <laughs> <laughs> on a Sunday, y'all, y'all don't understand. Uh, man, we got. I'm, we gonna go and get up out of here. The game about to start. We got five minutes. Five good minutes left. What you want to say for the last? What you want to? What you want to get these people the last good five minutes, man? I don't know, cause I'm thinking about what y'all got cooking for the Super Bowl. What y'all got cooking out there for the Super Bowl? Is it cheese dip? Is it Rotel dip? What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> what is the difference? Is it? What's the difference? Cause man? I feel like if you call it Rotel dip, I feel like you just eating a bowl full a of bowl tomatoes. Rotel. Like you gotta. <laughs> 
like it's cheese in there. Why the fuck would you call Rotel it Rotel dip? dip? But that's and if I see some damn shrimp Nick. and the cheese dip at the Super Bowl party, I'm whooping your ass. Ain't no shrimp allowed at the Super Bowl if party. If there's some shrimp in my damn cheese dip at the Super Bowl party, <laughs> oh I'm flipping the fuck out. That's it. I'm tearing shit up around here. <laughs> <laughs> For real, shrimp I, don't go in everything. Niggas is getting. Care- I'm seeing a new situation arise. I'm glad we brought this up. Who got the next sport podcast? Oh, yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's what's up. Podcast. Who got next sport podcast? Make sure y'all check out my man Steven Spears. Who got next sports podcast? I need to get on that too, my man. I need that black intellectual talk on the sports side of the game. That's what's up, my brother. Hey, man, Steve, keep doing your thing, man. For real. Keep bro. doing that. We all in the same boat, bro. So however I can help you out, man, I'm definitely down to do that. If you want to come over here on this early conduct one day, brother, you know this, man. So you already 100. Come on through, man. Holler at us. Uh, a situation is rising, Harlem. Whoa. We are. It's 2018. A situation is, is arising with the, on the food side of the game. I am seeing too much stuffed shit that don't need to be stuffed, Harlem. <laughs> Why are you stuffing two pieces of tilapia <laughs> together and talking about it's stuffed fish? Hold on, hold on. Why are we frying catfish? And stuffing two pieces of catfish together <laughs> inside of cream cheese and shit. <laughs> no! <laughs> we are going to stop this shit today. <laughs> we are stopping this today. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing this. I said on Facebook oh. the other day. I said, I'm just waiting to see a stuffed chitlin roll across my damn timeline. <laughs> you niggas are stuffing everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got anthem. I'm sorry. I didn't I'm know passionate. that they had uh, they niggas is stuffing two two pieces of fish together. Bruh, I seen two pieces of tilapia stuffed together. They didn't put some cream cheese, bacon, or whatever in the middle of it. Some of that shit look trash. I'm sorry, man. Y'all. Trash is shit. shit is Just trash. because they throw a pound of parsley on the shot top of it, <laughs> don't mean that it's good. And y'all need to like it shared. <laughs> Nigga made a, a stuffed chitlin and threw some parsley on top of it. With Niggas was shrimp. shared. <laughs> right. Stop putting shrimp in everything. That's what I'm tired of. Stop putting shrimp in everything. Don't shrimp cheese steak. Shrimp does not enhance every dish you put it in. Shrimp Sorry. don't do shit. Shrimp does not do that. No. It's, this is not This is not an add-on. Stop putting shrimp in everything. Mm. If I see a shrimp at a Super Bowl party. If the shrimp is in the cheese dip, slap it. Whoever did that this on this they they disrespecting the Super Bowl. If you got shrimp and the cheese today, I'm fighting. I'm, I'm fighting today. I'm, I'm rolling up. I'm taking the shirt off. <laughs> and and I'm, okay, we're <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. <laughs> it hurt my feelings. Okay, I just want regular cheese dip. Regular cheese dip. <laughs> I don't need all the extra in it. Keep your sausage. Keep your shrimp. We ain't having gumbo. <laughs> My damn cheese dip. <laughs> we sorry, yo. We get passionate about food and shit. Uh, I'm not eating no carbs this month, so I can't have no <laughs> potato chips, motherfucking potatoes, <laughs> rice, bread, cereal, nigga. I can't eat certain fruits because it got too many carbs, so I'm going through it. I got to eat burgers wrapped in lettuce and shit. So, <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm upset. I want my snack case at the Super Bowl. I gotta eat like a rat, but it's fine. It's on the beef. When the summertime comes, you're gonna be summertime fine. I'm in my Borat slingshot thong, walking down the goddamn beach, strutting. Ass cheeks flexing. Mm. You ain't gonna be able to tell me (laughs) nothing. You can't tell me (laughs) shit. (laughs) Okay? Right at five o'clock, man. Listen, we go finna go and get up out of here, y'all. Go and go enjoy the rest of this uh, Super Bowl Sunday, man. We want to thank everybody that tuned in on this good miscellaneous Sunday episode of this Oily Conduct Entertainment. We gonna be back on Fridays, damn it. Making sure we bring y'all this good quality content. Seven thirty is make sure your ass is tuned in. Uh, technical difficulties, like we said, they happen, man. We go through them. Everybody go through them in life. Everybody have technical difficulties in life, damn it. That's what we have. Um, we go through shit just like everybody else. We human, man. We building some shit. This is the podcast. 
the duo, the dynamic goddamn duo <laughs> has done it again. And I just want to thank everybody, man, because everybody that's tuned in today, man, there's some loyal people, and we thank you, man, once again, once again, on this good Sunday. I appreciate you, and I love you. Got some words to part the way. Give them, give them, give them some good inspiration, my brother Harlem, on this good Sunday. Damn it, y'all, the Super Bowl Sunday. Eat good, feel good, enjoy yourself. Cause tomorrow is a it's a new work week. Do some shit you ain't done before. Get up, get it in, get off your big ass, baby. Yeah. And that's it. This early conduct we building. We building. We out. Boo. Yeah, that was great. Retransfer that, and we good. I'll have it posted tomorrow.